Good morning and welcome back to the channel guys. So today I'm back at Lump Meadows. Um, it's been a while since I was here, probably, I don't know, six weeks or so, maybe a bit more. Um, so yeah, all the chicks have hatched, all the goslings are swimming around and everybody's busy feeding the children. So I've come down to a woodies section this morning um, to photograph the red spotted woodpecker that has young in the tree here and it keeps coming in and out and feeding its young. Uh, just so really nice to see um, something I've not sort of seen and watched before. Uh, so a new experience for me. Um, but yeah, just fantastic. Um, so I'm going to be spending the entire day here at Lump Meadows um, walking around. It is a lot quieter than it was last time. I have seen the barn owls this morning and they appear to be um, hunting in a new place now just because the grass and reeds are now so long. I think they're switching areas to uh, shorter grass areas. Um, so I know where that is now, so I'm hopefully gonna stay here this evening um, and then get some pictures of the barn owls hunting. Um, but apart from that, gonna photograph hopefully some damsels and dragonflies any other insects and butterflies. Sorry, the woodpecker's come back. And his little young is sticking its head out the hole. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here and be quiet. fantastic morning watching these great spotted woodpeckers coming in and out and feeding the chicks in the nest albeit a few midges flying around um, it's very very quiet I'm just having a fabulous morning um, doing a bit of slow um, high-speed photography uh, videography as well just slowing down as the woodpeckers fly in and fly off the tree. That's nice. But yeah, what a great morning. Just having my breakfast. Got here at half five this morning, so I'm just feeling a bit peckish now. What time are we at now? Eight o'clock, so yeah, it's about breakfast time. But no, what a great morning. What better place to have breakfast? Great little spot this, because the tree that the woodpeckers are in is right in the middle of the woods. Um, so you can see the woodpeckers as they fly in um, and get ready for your shot as they're about to land on the tree. And sometimes they're just coming into uh, the little trees here. At the moment they're flying over 
into the shrubs over there looking for insects and then bringing them back to the nest. The woodpecker's just up here at the moment. fabulous morning photographing uh, the woodpeckers here in the tree. The great spotted woodpeckers, correcting myself from earlier where I said red spotted woodpeckers. Anyway, I'm going to have a walk around the reserve and go see what else we can find this morning. I'm just photographing, uh, so I'm just videoing these little ducklings at the moment. And the, uh, there's some godwits over here as well, male and female. Okay, well, I've now come down to the hide here at Lump Meadows. Uh, it's the only hide that I have here at Lump Meadows. They do have sort of hide screens that you can hide behind. Um, they're dotted around the reserve, but this is the only uh, actual hide here at the reserve. Um, pretty quiet morning, uh, just come down here to these waterways uh, just to see what's about, but a couple of ducks and a pheasant um, and that's about it. So I'll give it half an hour and then I'm going to think I'm going to go over and see if I can photograph the black-headed gulls catching insects and dragonflies in the air. Um, so that should be quite interesting if I manage to do that. I managed to do it in the last video um, purely by accident um, but now that I see it's possible I'm going to try and focus on that a little bit as well um, but yeah and have a drink something to eat and just uh, pull up a chair and see if anything flies by So I'm just sat on the edge of this pond now, photographing dragonflies. It's just incredible. They're so hard to photograph and they're so fast. It's just, but when you manage to get them in focus and, and, and you get them 
in flight. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Um, so there's three at the moment. I think there's uh, the four spotted chaser and I think it's a blue chaser. I don't know if the male and females, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, they're flying around here and there's another one as well. I'm not too sure what that one is. I have to get as far back as I can because I'm shooting with the 100 to 500. So what I'm doing is, is I'm sort of tracking the dragonfly and then when it's hovering I'll then zoom in and take the shot with it which isn't easy to do because they literally hover or stay in one spot for about two seconds. But man, have <laughs> I got some great pictures. Absolutely stunning. Got a pair in flight mating literally just in front of me. I can't ask for better. And I'm going to be quiet now and wait for them to come back. I'm going to see if I can get lower to the water as well. tough old afternoon I have to say um, not a lot of wildlife around at all very very sparse I really had to work today and work very hard at that I tell you and it's been blooming hot certainly topped up on those tan lines today <laughs> t-shirt marks that's for sure still it's been a good day just seen some uh, little pheasant chicks, so that was rather nice. So I'm just going to wait two or three hours and we might see the owls. But I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, there is only one pair of barn owls, I think. So we'll just have to wait and see. And hopefully the owls might turn up. Okay everybody, well that draws an end to my day at Lump Meadows and I can honestly say it's been a tough day. Um, there's a lot less wildlife here than there was last time. Um, really, it must be a quarter of what I've seen here before today. Um, got here at half five, it's now exactly two minutes past eight, so it's been a bit of a long day. Um, yeah, struggling to find wildlife today. So what I have caught, I put, made, it took a lot of effort to get. Um, I'll tell you that. Um, I sat up on the embankment for a couple of hours this evening, hoping to see the, uh, the barn owls, no appearance. But then again, the weather's been so great. There's, there's no point in them coming out in daylight. They can hunt all night and it's absolutely fine. Um, to finish off, the day I just saw a hare in the field behind me here so a nice little uh, constellation prize to end the day um, just to add to the uh, list of wildlife that I've seen today love the woodpeckers um, 
love the pheasant chicks not seen little baby pheasants before so that was i mean they were they were tiny they could fit in the cup of your hand well both of them could um i couldn't believe how small they were i nearly stood on them um but no a fab day today loads of uh, grey lag and canada geese here so if that's the thing and you want to see the chicks then lump meadows is the place for everything else you're going to struggle i'm afraid um as far as reserves go for the next video i'm going to give reserves a bit of a miss i think for the next month and i'm going to concentrate on the good old english streams our woodlands and uh the great English meadows and valleys and hills and mountains and see what's see what wildlife we have out in the wild and not in the reserves um, I just want to get back down to basics I want to get on the floor I want to get eye level with the with the wildlife um, and I want that whole experience of you know seeing it finding it photographing it documenting it um, and just enjoying the whole experience um, I'm finding the, at the moment, um, what there is, it's just hard work. Um, you know, I mean, you come out and I think a lot of it is you expect to see things and you don't and you feel a bit disheartened. And not that I was today, I don't, I've had a really good day. I've seen an awful lot, but I've worked my butt off to see it um, and document it. But anyway, enough of all that, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following me on this video. And until the next time, I will catch you in some place I don't know where. Take care. Yep. Two lenses, two cameras. I know what you're thinking. Crazy. Not at all. F2.8, 100 to 500, 70 to 200, F2.8. Getting that bokeh in the video, it's just amazing. <laughs>